1966, two Olathe leaders drove west across I-35 to survey a section of land. R. R. Osborne, an Olathe businessman, and Paul Cunningham, a local pastor, had a vision. That vision would bring a new set of pioneers to this land and give Olathe its first institution of higher learning. The Church of the Nazarene is an American Christian denomination founded in 1907. In 1964, the denomination had six colleges across the country, but that year, at the Church's General Assembly, a vote was taken to add two new colleges. One of these new schools, known for the time being as College B, was to be located somewhere in the Midwest. A board of trustees was selected to give leadership to the development of College B. Their major task would be to find a person to lead the new school and a place for it to call home. On May 27, 1966, the Board of Trustees elected Curtis Smith to be the new school's first president. Smith would lay the foundation for the new school, hire an executive team and professors, recruit new students, and oversee fundraising and construction. Besides all these seemingly insurmountable obstacles, one would provide the founders of the new school much anxiety. Accreditation ensures that the institution meets standards of quality so that the degrees students earn are valid. Without accreditation, students would not have a legitimate degree to use in the workforce. This would be Curtis Smith's greatest challenge. If the school failed to get accreditation, all the buildings, professors, and student attendance would be for nothing. Smith and the board were looking at potential areas for the new school. Council Bluffs, Iowa, Lincoln, Nebraska, Topeka and Wichita, Kansas, and Columbia, Missouri were all making appealing offers to have the new college in their community. However, it would be the friendship between a Nazarene pastor and an Olathe businessman that would eventually win out. Paul Cunningham was pastor of a small Nazarene church on the west side of Olathe, and he had befriended Olathe banker and businessman R. R. Osborne. Cunningham knew his friend had the desire to assist anything that benefited Olathe. He also knew Osborne had connections and resources to see that it could happen. Osborne immediately jumped on board, and the two men set out to make a bid for the new school. Osborne would donate 80 acres of farmland northwest of the intersection of Merlin and Sheridan Street. He also gathered 10 Olathe businessmen to purchase 10 acres each, and they also supported a revenue bond that would help build the school's first facilities. On October 4, 1966, the Board of Trustees voted that College B would be located in Olathe, Kansas. The Board then voted to call the new school Mid-America Nazarene College, and the mascot would be the Pioneer. The new school had a president, a location, a name, and a mascot. Now came the enormous task of building facilities and recruiting students. Would students take the risk and come to a school that was not yet accredited? On a summer day in 1967, a groundbreaking ceremony was held. Dr. Smith, R. R. Osborne, Paul Cunningham, and many other Nazarene and community leaders were present. A fervent pace of construction was set over the next year. On September 2, 1968, the doors were open and 263 students arrived as the first pioneer class. The next step for President Smith was clear, full accreditation as a four-year college. It was a lofty goal, but Smith would accept nothing less. The earliest a new college could receive accreditation was six years. The goal was set for 1974. Over the next few years, the school thrived. New buildings, student life organizations, the Trailblazers school newspaper, music and choir, intramural sports, varsity basketball, cross country and tennis, 
all contributed to a healthy institution of higher learning with a Christian emphasis on life. In 1968, Paul Cunningham, the pastor who was so instrumental in securing Olathe as Mid-America's home, moved his congregation to a new church building near the campus on Sheridan Street. They renamed themselves College Church of the Nazarene. Although the church and school are adjacent to each other and are part of the same Nazarene denomination, they are separate entities. College Church and Mid-America share a close connection to this day. It was March 27, 1974. Dr. Smith stood alone in a conference room in front of the Commission on Institutions of Higher Education in Chicago. He was awaiting the verdict. Would Mid-America receive its full accreditation? The tension was high. Back home on campus, the faculty and students gathered in nervous anticipation, waiting for a call from Smith. The phone call they had been waiting for came. Well, we made it, said Dr. Smith on the phone. In the minimum amount of time allotted, Mid-America was fully accredited by the North Central Accrediting Association. The celebration that ensued was nothing short of spectacular. Curtis Smith and his wife Marge arrived via helicopter to the ceremony and later a long procession of cars drove through Olathe to celebrate that Mid-America Nazarene College was officially a four-year institution of higher learning. Over the course of the next four decades, Mid-America the school continued to grow by adding sports like football in 1979, building a full-size library in 1985, and on March 8th of 1997, Mid-America Nazarene College officially became Mid-America Nazarene University. Bell Cultural Events Center opened in 2007, and that same year the men's basketball team became NAIA national champions. In 2016, the women's basketball team also became NAIA national champions. Today, Mid-America has more than 35 undergraduate programs. More than 2,000 undergraduate and graduate students who come from 35 states and 16 countries. Through adversity and toil, Mid-America Nazarene University has endured and remains to this day a university of purpose. The university's dedication to academic excellence, devotion to God, and service to others makes for a cultural landscape that continues to have an impact on Olathe and beyond.